people, we must consistently engage. But particularly that says that as long as the actions and inactions of those in positions of authority is shattered in secrecy, then the collective freedoms of a people cannot be guaranteed. And that's why the media has become the fourth arm of the estate, or if you like, upgraded to the fourth arm of government. A whole lot of things have happened since Thursday, and there's been all kinds of cacophony, lies here and there. It's our responsibility as a responsible party to put pay to the lies of the opposition. Um, the attempt is to move me. The attempt is to intimidate, the attempt is to cow, you know, cow uh, the uh, PDP down. I will refuse to be intimidated, will not be cowed down uh, because the field is open for everybody. We have a right to campaign as much as they have a right to campaign, more so in the state where the PDP um, runs their affairs in the state. So we thought we should call the media together so that we can put things in proper perspective. Nobody is more a do than any other person. I am, I am as a do as the individuals who are parading themselves as uh, whatever they think they are. Um, they don't have two heads, they have just one head to I have. And if anybody is even more a do, it can be more a do than somebody like our, our DG, who is an aborigine, if you like, one of the fundamental pillars that we did this time, so having seen it all. So we thought that it would be proper that we speak truth, you know, and put pay to some of these allies. So on this note, I'd like to hand you over to my very capable, you know, DG who will lead us in this uh, press conference. DG, you know what's going to Thank you, sir. Uh, DDG Media and Publicity, thank you for that uh, brief introduction. Gentlemen of the press, I see it as a great honor and privilege to address you today. I titled this press release Call for Justice and Fair Play in the Two States 2024 Political Landscape. We appreciate your presence and the vital role you play in keeping the public informed. We are here to address the recent unfortunate events in the Two States, particularly the incident involving the former Deputy Governor of the Two States, Dr. Philip Schreiber, and the subsequent arrest. We gather to address these issues and reaffirm our commitment to a peaceful and democratic process. A few days ago, specifically on the 18th of July, when the village rival attempted to forcefully and violently take over the deputy governor's office, citing a court injunction or a, a court judgment. This incident tragically resulted in the death of one Inspector Akon, a gallant officer of the Nigerian Police Force, who mourned his loss and extended our condolences to his family and loved ones. The circumstances surrounding his death, including the identity of the shooter, however, however remain unclear. Following this incident, we have witnessed an alarming increase in harassment and violence perpetrated by political talks associated with the All Progressive Congress, the ABC. Innocent citizens, residents of Edo State, especially those supporting the PDP and our candidate, Barrister Aswe Ibrano, have been targeted. Such actions are a direct affront to the freedoms enshrined in the Nigerian Constitution as well as in the Electoral Act, which allows citizens to support their preferred candidates freely. Regarding the events of Thursday, 18 July 2024, the Edo State APC, under the guise of federal might, has used the Nigerian police to harass members of our party. They are attempting to twist the narrative and pin the claim of the police officer or members of the People's Democratic Party. Contrary to their claim, the PDP has conducted and will continue to conduct peaceful and violence-free campaigns. We have no intention of engaging in violence against any political party, its members or candidates. Videos circulating on social media, including the YouTube, clearly show the perpetrators of the violence on airport road in the city. At this point, I would like to emphasize that in all the videos that we have seen so far, 
Even when Philip Shabu said he has videos of PDP members, they have not been able to show us one video. The video on the social media showed the policeman being carried by some of his colleagues. And there was also somebody, a well known political talk, branding the poor passion and jumping on the curb right in their presence. A goal that we know that the person is not licensed to, to carry. We are also aware that this person was not just a new giver. So many of them who had different kinds, kinds of arms on that very day. Videos circulating on social media, including the YouTube, clearly shows the perpetrators of violence and the portrait. These individuals in individuals identified as no talks affiliated with the Indo State APC were seen brandishing sophisticated weapons. We urge the federal government and the Spectrum Police to thoroughly investigate this matter. As petitions have already been submitted by the state government and the PDP. It is particularly concerning that talks loyal to the Edo State APC have been parading the streets. I'll take that again. It is particularly the world has to be alarming and of great concern that talks loyal to the APC have been parading the streets, destroying vehicles, and assaulting individuals wearing PDP campaign materials. A female member of the People's Democratic Party, as a member of part of the director of campaigns of the Obiah South West local government area, who was driving along Sabele Road on that day, not even knowing what happened around the Bengal station was beaten, her vehicle was destroyed. She had reported to the police, and despite that report to police, no action has been taken to bring the perpetrators, who we all know, to justice. We all the Inspector General of Police to act impartially and not favor any political party. Furthermore, pertinent questions need to be asked of Comrade Philip Shire. Why did he ignore the Commissioner of Police's advice? How did the Arab talks get to the airport to receive him? And what did he plan to achieve with violence? If he says that he claimed that he came here peacefully, how come the talks that came to receive him, not policemen and not regular policemen, were talks that were brandishing different kinds of offensive weapons. We call on President Bola Amir Tinubu and the Special General of Police to call from the Philip Shahibu, Tony Kabaka, Abu Stone, one Pastor Casey Wachuku to order. Any further assault of family <coughs> members or supporters will result in them being held accountable to anything ugly happen to anybody. We are in a crucial phase in Nigeria where inflation and hardship have made the life miserable for many. The federal government should focus on intensifying its efforts to improve the lives of the ordinary citizens by providing affordable housing, food, health care and security. As a political party and a responsible one at that, we will resist any attempt by other parties or campaign of organizations to use external forces to intimidate, harass, or molest us during our peaceful campaign or undermine our democratic process. The Edo APCs boast of using federal might to capture Edo State through undemocratic means disregards the wishes of the people of Edo. We call on President Bola Amitibu to remember that he's now the father of all Nigerians, not just the least. And urge him to act as a father to the nation and ensure a fair and just democratic process. Finally, I urge all members of the BDP, followers, and supporters of Aswe Udalo and Osadio Oki, campaign organization 
to remain steadfast in their job and all our supporters to be steadfast in their support. Vote for Dr. Oswego in the September 2024 gubernatorial election. Do not be intimidated or disadvantaged by those who claim to have better minds in court. Nigeria is a democracy and not a one party state. Long live a new state. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. Comments yeah. or questions? Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask questions. Well, there are no questions. <laughs> <laughs> there are no questions. I think we we call it a date. Yes, right. Yeah. Well, we were supposed to start our tours tomorrow, which is on Monday the 27th. But as a party and a responsible campaign organization that has empathy for the feelings of the new people, we have decided to shift our takeoff day to Thursday to honor the dead that the man who is on active duty and assigned for as a Nigerian was killed by whether stray bullet or targeted bullet by anybody. I, I think that it was the right thing for us to pause our campaign and defend by a day or two before we, we kick off. So hopefully by the grace of God on Thursday we will start our campaign movement in that day. That's on the 25th of July. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, chairman, sir. I hope I'm going to answer some Yes. Seeing that this is more focused on the security on the security of uh, the Rwanda Regulatory Stand and the, the campaign council for PDP and the Pastoral Regional. What measures are you doing? Well, like I said, the Inspector General of Police has been petitioned by not just the state government but also by the People's Democratic Party. You should you know as a campaign organization, we are appointed by the People's Democratic Party. And they have petitioned the Inspector General of Police, and we expect that the Inspector General of Police will do a thorough investigation by inviting everybody who is involved. Not the nonsense they are doing now. They went to one place and listed the names of very credible and formidable PDP leaders across the state, including the vice chairman of the APC for a new center in the United States, who resigned from their party because they know the money is going to come to PDP officially. A man who was in Iran, they had to write his name and was among those who came also. But common sense, is it possible for somebody to come from outside to shoot a policeman? In the midst of many police men, and that person will escape. Is it possible? That's why we urge the Inspector General of Police to take this matter very seriously. Because we know the people who are the leaders in the All Progressive Congress. We know, we know their history of violence and they, are, and they are violent men. But we will not allow violence to be introduced into the campaigns in the new state because we believe. That the electoral victory of anybody becoming the governor of the state does not deserve the blood of one individual city. 